case, you can get such high dose rates, which means we can deliver so much damage in a short amount of time that stops these tumor cells from being able to repair. The research that we're doing here is associated with um, bringing a brilliant idea uh, into reality, basically. At the synchrotron, we actually uh, use this beautiful facility in order to build a new modality for uh, the treatment of the brain tumor. Part of my study is to investigate how uh, we can actually understand uh, cell biology and then combine that with physics to get a more complete idea of a radiation treatment as well as imaging and diagnostics. The synchrotron have a very parallel uh, beam and uh, you avoid any scattering after, after the tumor and then you, uh, you decrease uh, the dose on the healthy cell behind the, the, the tumor, yes. And this treatment is unique in the sense that it's very, very distinct from the normal radiotherapy techniques that are used today. Uh, we develop technology associated with uh, real-time dosimeters. So these are radiation sensors that measure the radiation dose and um, we developed a technique to measure the radiation dose uh, within this microbeam facility here at the Australian Supertron. So this is really interesting for us and on top of that we actually have a kilovoltage radiation beam source. Now what this means is that when we add something like nanoparticles we can get so much more damage around the tumour. And with these nanoparticles inside tumor cells, we can actually boost the dose or boost the damage selectively to tumor cells. Um, so combining the two makes for a really interesting and very um, kind of novel approach to treating these more radio-resistant tumors or ones that are going to be very difficult to treat with normal radiation. So ultimately we would like to take it, this research into to clinical trials uh, and move it forward to the point where we're happy with it as a, as a therapy option, as a radiotherapy option for, for people with uh, inoperable and untreatable brain tumors. It serves a great purpose where you can, you can facilitate the, the training uh, mechanisms for, for young scientists that are coming through the system. So from the undergraduates who are learning about the physics of what's going on and they can apply that knowledge at the synchrotron uh, with some of the instrumentation that we've developed. And then on top of that you have a serious research training with the, the PhD students, so the higher degree research students. And then also the postdoctoral fellows, so they're, they're early career researchers that are learning how to manage a project and, and so they need some mentoring and guidance. This work is really important to me uh, because I think the way that radiation is used at the moment for paediatric patients is just not good enough. And when you're using x-rays to treat these really radio-resistant brain tumours, it's just not effective anymore when you have to do a whole brain radiation or half a brain radiation treatment. I think we can do better and we should be doing better. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited by moving a great idea forward uh, in, in, in relatively small steps, I suppose, uh, uh, in terms of the big picture, but with an end goal in mind.